Our planet is struggling with climate change and developing countries will be affected the most. The good news is that innovative solutions exist to face the challenges in front of us. Now we need to implement and scale them. That's why the G-Stick Climate Action Programme was launched, a project call funded by the Government of Flanders. The programme accelerates innovation in countries most at risk, from renewable energy, sustainable water management to climate resilient food systems. Let's discover one of the impactful stories. Back in the days when I was growing up, it was very rainy. From March to June, there were heavy rains. But as I've been growing up, the weather patterns have changed. We have been experiencing more dry seasons, hot weather. We as Tanzanians, we depend on rain-fed agriculture. If the rain is not enough, that means some of the farmers have not been producing. 70 to 80% still use traditional methods of irrigation. The solution is to use drip irrigation system that takes water directly to the plant. They have to be powered, so we are offering uh, solar-powered drip irrigation systems. My name is Hilda Gadokoth, and I'm a program advisor at Recolt. I was born and raised here in Arusha. Traditionally, farmers around here used to grow cash crops, that is maize and beans. But of recent, there has been a very heavy shift to high value horticulture crops, that is fruits and vegetables. Yeah, I am Simon Maji anatokea mtoni yakisha kuja huko ndo tunayatumia. Maji yanakuja kutokea mfereji, yanatokea kwenye mfereji. Sasa kuna mfereji ambao tutakuwa shatengenezwa zamani na inteki. Kwa hiyo anatokea mtoni kisha afungua pale ndo anakuja huko baada ya zamu. Yaani baada ya ile zamu kuja ndo naenda kufungua pale maji unaleta huko na tukia mfereji. So there is this furrow irrigation whereby they make furrows and ridges that allow water to pass through and that way it spreads across their farms. It uses a lot of water but this water doesn't go directly to the plant because it's open field and the water is allowed to flow. That means you, you lose a lot of water through seepage but also through evaporation. Yeah, so it's not very effective in terms of water usage. Yani, ndani ya miaka hii miwili mwaka huu na mwaka jana umekuepo na uhaba sana wa maji mtoni kwa sababu kiangazi kimekuwa kikali sana One of the things we do at Recolto is really to showcase innovation around food systems and as we were scoping around what innovation exists around uh, climate change adaptation we came across Simu Solar the solution is solar-powered drip irrigation systems. My name is Seti Maximilian. I'm working with the SimSolar. SimSolar are provide this pump, the solar panels, and the installation as well. During the morning and the evening, and during the cloud, uh, the output is low. But we guarantee you that uh, even if the, the, the output is low, you can get water. Mimi naitoa Martha Crispin. Tunahusika na kilimo cha nyanya. Eh tunalima nyanya. Kile kisima tukashusha pampu kwa ajili ya kupandisha maji. Asa maji yakipanda pale yanaingia moja kwa moja. Yaani ile sola ndio inatusaidia kuvuta kwenye pampu pale. Eh yanaingia kwenye kisima, baada ya kuingia kwenye kisima sasa ndio tuna tunaingiza shamba. Once you are open water from the reserve it comes directly to these pipes. They are connected with, uh, with this drip run systems. They have small holes. They discharge water to the crops. Studies show use 90% water, so the loss of water is only 10%. A lot of farmers were using fossil fuel to run the pumps, but these have negative effects in terms of polluting the air or emitting greenhouse gases. But with the solar-powered irrigation system, you're using renewable energy that uh, does the same work or even more work than the fuel-powered pump. 
lakini unakuta kwa mfano kwenye eka moja lazima upandishe maji siku mbili kwanza ndio yaweze kutoshea ile ndio kwenye hizi kwenye hizi sola kwenye drip line maji yanakuwa ni maji amba yanaingia kwa wakati the farmer gets more out of the farm for example in a tomato farm an acre you can harvest 60 crates if you use a drip irrigation system but if you don't you can harvest around 40 to 50 so 10 crates less more food that means the city becomes more food secure farmers are adopting we expect to have an increase of maybe to 20 25 percent they see the importance of using solar systems for irrigation it makes me feel very encouraged Farmers are going to continue producing, building their capacity to adapt to climate change. Uh, that means income status of the farmers is going to be sustained. Then their livelihoods will continue to flourish.